everybody, this is Christine with Coco Daisy and Mr. Daisy is here as well. We are going to do an, a live unboxing tonight. Uh, we're a little late because we were in sunny Florida, which is a lot different than the very cold that it is right now. Um, so, Blustery is, I think, the word. Yeah, it was very, very windy today and very, very, very chilly. And I am dressed for the occasion. I am in my comfies because I have been running around like crazy woman getting Christmas decorations up because I'm a week late doing that as well. Christmas and gifts and shopping. And <laughs> well, we are having, this is going to be fun. We are having the Coco Daisy staff Christmas party here on Tuesday. So I'm excited about that. I got some fun surprises for them, which I can't say because as I said, they're surprises and they'll be here Tuesday and we're gonna have a lot of fun. And Elena is here, hello Elena. So we're gonna take a few minutes and normally we take a break midstream and Mr. Daisy mixes us up a lovely cocktail. I think what we're gonna do while we're waiting for more people to jump online is we are gonna start with our cocktail. So get your comfies on. Text a friend. Text a friend, let them know we're live and we're gonna show an unboxing of all of the Confetti Wishes, the January collection. Uh, grab a hot cocoa, grab an adult beverage, glass of wine, whatever you feel like, and join us. So I'm gonna, Mr. Daisy's getting the stuff ready. He is our resident um, mixologist. <laughs> and he is also currently working on, oh, hi, Cheryl. Cheryl is watching too, how are you? Um, we are, and Sue, hi Sue, we are, yeah, hi Sue, I'm glad you're here. We are, um, actually I shouldn't say we, because this is all Mr. Daisy, is building um, part of the basement. He is turning that into his own private little man cave tiki bar, so he is, he is our resident mixologist and he's going to have his own space to do it, so we're pretty cool with that. And we all right, were, so we might um, just have to do an unboxing in a tiki from, bar. Oh, that would be fun. Live from Mr. Daisy's Mr. Daisy's tiki bar secret hideout, <laughs> secret hideout where he goes to get warm and turn the heater way, way, way up because it's cold down there. Which I'm not down there anymore, I'm in office up here now, which is nice because then it's not so cold. All right, so this is the, the cocktail of the evening, the Jack Frost. So I'm gonna walk you over, it's, it's really good by the way. It's actually a little more tiki, but it's uh, very, very, very tasty. So, all right, we're gonna follow you. Oh, and there's, there's the puppies. So hopefully they stay good, we'll see. So we're gonna follow Mr. Daisy over here and he is gonna make us a Jack Frost. Yes, a Jack Frost for this evening. Um, we're. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer's with us. She Jennifer. says hello, Mr. And Mrs. Daisy. We're, we're a, little, a little bit behind the curve, so we were unable to get shaved coconut. Um, for this particular recipe, it calls for you to rim your glass in simple syrup and then dip it into shaved coconut, which then gives you that kind of frosty, kind of cold, snowy. snowy kind of feel. Um, yeah, up until 15 minutes ago, we didn't have it and we still don't. So, um, <laughs> this last week has been a little crazy. It's been a little ridiculous. So we're going to kind of freelance this a little bit. Um, the particular recipe that we did find um, was to make a pitcher of this. Oh, Patricia's with us. Oh, and that recipe... I'm going to interrupt. Sorry. Yep. That recipe is going to be on the printable like we did last month. So you'll have it. And, and, and again... The recipe called for like a ridiculous amount. So eight ounces of rum, four ounces of pineapple juice. Yeah, that's ounces. if you're having a party. If you're having a party, it's a brilliant, brilliant way to do it. So it does have all of the um, all of the ingredients in order to be able to make a pitcher so that you have it for all of your friends in your um, holiday parties. However, we're doing this a little bit on a smaller side, so we're kind of... He's going to break it down for kind of each person. Down. So if you just want to make one for yourself, um, yourself a nice eight ounce little glass, whatever it may be. Um, sure. <laughs> Ice goes in 
into your cocktail shaker. It's a nice little red cocktail shaker for Christmas, honey. Yes. I like that. We thought we would uh, go a little festive with it. Um, so they call for um, an ounce of your real coconut cream, which you can find at your average Mega Mart or whatever. This stuff is amazing, by the it's way. If you're super, a coconut lover. <laughs> sweet. I love coconut. So we're kind of we're kind of freelancing this one a little bit. So instead of the yeah, we backed actual off a little. He calls for in the the pitcher amount is four ounces. However, in the single serve, it should call for one ounce. It's way, way, way. Yeah, sweet. that's too we, sweet. We, we've kind of, we we've backed kind of off. Yeah, of, kind of did a little bit of research before. <laughs> <laughs> did and, a little trial and error. And. You need only need about a half an ounce. Um, we're also kind of doing, again, a little bit of freelancing, so please bear with us. <laughs> so roughly about eh, a half an ounce of your real coconut cream, and then you will go with... Then of course you don't have to have an adult beverage to do the unboxing tonight. Nope, this is just you to. grab a nice hot cocoa if you want, cup of tea, totally okay. Obviously, we've been practicing with this, so <laughs> uh, we have enough for. Um, you'll use one ounce of blue cure cow. You will use um, because we subtracted an ounce of the real coconut cream. We're adding an extra ounce of. The coconut rum. Coconut rum in order yeah. to be able to enhance the coconutness. So you go without with, the sicky sicky sweet. Right. So we're gonna go with three ounces of coconut. Hi Vicky. Rum. Vicky has joined us. I like your I like your avatar, Vicky, the little puppy dog. We're very puppy friendly here. <laughs> and then just your standard pineapple juice. Uh, cause we're both really, really big fans of, we love pineapple. So, so this is almost like, it's funny because this is like a tiki drink, but because it has the coconut on top, makes it look frosty. Then you can call it a winter it drink looks, it looks <laughs> with the blue. Yeah, it totally does. Uh, four ounces of your, um, Cheryl loves coconut rum. Yes, we do too. Four ounces of your pineapple. <laughs> now. Um, for the printable, you're going to see that it says put a whole bunch of this stuff all into a blender and make it a frosty. Um, right, which you can do. Drink, which is fine. We don't want to do that. Which this is easier. You can do um, on, a, on a large scale, or you could even do this in a bullet or something yeah. like that that you have at home. Um, we're not really particularly big frosty drink folks. We're more kind of over the rocks kind of folks. Yeah. So. And it's easier. It's less things getting messy. <laughs> less clean less up. Less things getting dirty. <laughs> less clean up. Less clean up. <laughs> so, after about 15, 20 hours, 20 seconds of shake, you will then pour that off into your Isn't hands. that pretty? Now, if you envision that, with a with a rim of with the coconut, rim of be coconut, all frosty all looking. Very frosty. So you can see what they have here as see, far as for the photo. The that's kind the recipe. Of, obviously, because we've altered the recipe, we've altered things a little yeah. bit or whatever. So if you notice, ours is a little bit more Caribbean green <laughs> instead <laughs> nice. of blue. Um, the actual recipe calls for two ounces of blue cure cow. Uh, we only use an ounce. Um, so if you want to go a bit more heavy or to the, right. to the recipe proper. Yeah, Anna's here. Isn't it pretty? Blue. Yeah, that doesn't it mean it's totally Caribbean. You're going to get more of that traditional blue color in order to give you that bit more of that frosty, wintry kind of feel. Obviously, paper straw, let's be ozone friendly. And there you go. Ta-da. Isn't that pretty? There you go. So you're printable. Um, I'm not yeah. sure if we're actually going to break it down. No, I think we've thusly. just got, I think we've just got that recipe is what okay. I had Leah add on there. So, so that's the, fine. The, the recipe actually You can break for... it down or make a picture. <laughs> so if you, if you break it down from cups into ounces, um, your basic recipe is going to turn into two, one, yeah. one, one, and one. Um, we obviously altered things as far as a half an ounce, add an ounce, change up instead of light rum, we went with coconut rum. So we kind of freelanced this recipe a little bit um, just to make for more of our likings. So pretty. 
but it definitely does give you kind of that frosty kind of cold feel. Um, yep. And it is warming. <laughs> on the Anna so, says it reminds her of the watercolor in the Key West. Very true. We thought, you know what? We thought about like taking a day trip down there, but we just kind of. We ran out of time. We ran out of time. Not that we didn't want to. So, yes. all right. So, so we're, thank you, Mr. Daisy. Hand. Thank Let you, Mr. Daisy. So, all right. all right. We are going to come over here. And I'm hopefully I've got decent lighting with everything. <clears throat> and we are going to do an unboxing. I got a lot of stuff to show you. I've got all of the, um, the January stuff, confetti wishes, and I've got my layouts and the stamp sets. So lots of fun stuff. So we're going to get started on that. So hold on. Let me, I'm going to jiggle the phone a little bit because I'm going to turn it around so I can get ready for that. So bear with me just for a second. And if the phone looks off, um, just don't worry about that. Just, um, and you can turn your phone to make that so that you can see it. So one second while I get on here. And I'm gonna try to, um, let's see, one second, bear with me, because I'm trying to find it. Can you find it, honey? Um, nope, that's not it. So, should it be on Facebook or it should be on Instagram? No, it's, no, it's, on, it's right on here, honey. So, all right, one second. Let me grab. We're going to start with the main planner kit. But what I'd like to do is we're going to go back to here and. Oh, there we go. All right, so if I can see. Yeah, you're gonna have a little bit of a lag. There's gonna be a little bit of a lag. That's okay. So just go ahead and I know it looks sideways, but if you turn your phone, right, then it should be. Nope. I guess that's not gonna work. Just turn the phone. Yeah, we're just gonna have to turn the phone then. We'll do this. That's gonna wind up being upside down. Sorry, bear with me. I'm trying to do something new so that I can watch it um, on, on my iPad as well so that I can see what you all see. So that helps when I do this. All right, so we are gonna show the main planner kit. And this is called Confetti Wishes. And part of the reason I named it that is confetti makes me think of um, New Year's and, you know, the, the celebrations that you have in the New Year's. But it also makes me, in the wishes, it also makes me think of, we have these really cute little dandelion theme here with, you know, how you blow on a dandelion and you make a wish and so on. So that makes me think of that a little bit as well. So... I'm going to dig in here and show you. That's good, honey. Thank you. All right. This is the main planner kit. Now, the main planner kit is you can get the main planner kit with or without insert. I'm just looking for the comments. No, honey, stop. So the main planner kit, you can get with or without insert. And I'm going to go through actually all of the inserts. We have a ton of them. 
But what I wanted to show you is what is in the, um, the main planner kit without insert first. So I'm going to show you that first. Um, so if you see anything on there that you want to mention. So the first thing that you get, I'm going to show you the elastic band. And the elastic band, this you can put around a traveler's notebook binder. You can put this around your... Um, your ring bound, if you see, I can have that one here, and it holds your pen on there. So you can put your pen through and you can put it on your ring bound planner. So that holds your pen. If you've got an extra highlighter, you could also put it on the inside of your planner. If you didn't have an extra pen loop and you wanted to be able to have your highlighter tucked in there, you could do it on the inside as well. I just have it on the outside here as an example. But that's what that is, is this little patch right here is actually to hold your pen. The other thing that you can do with this is if you have one of those pretty, um, um, sometimes you get the felt florals that you want to decorate your planner with, you can loop that around here as well. So that's what that band is for. Or you can use it to hold um, a notebook shut. It will work around a daisy planner, it will work around a regular size notebook or even some of the larger um, Dory booklets that we have. So you get that and it's in that great black color so it will go with everything. And then you get one of our pens. And this one has that adorable little bird on it. And it has the little dandelion with the little wishes and then the black hardware and the daisy on top and then the little black crystals as well. And it's kind of hard to see, but there is a little bit of a glitter effect on the barrel on that. So you get one of those. And then the washi tape, and I have one open, so I'm going to show you that. It has the little damn, whoop, it has, sorry, it has the, um, it has the little dandelion seeds along with the, the cute little blue in there as well. So there's just a little bit of color on it. So it has that on there too. So that is the washi that is in the main planner kit. And then, is anybody new joined us that we need to give a shout out to? And then we have our sticky notepad, which looks like the um, like a little quote bubble, and it says "Let go," and it has the little seeds on there. And we'll get to those in a minute. I want to show you this little guy because he's so cute. Our little snail. He's our little embroidery snail on top of the clip. Isn't he cute? It always blows me away the detail that they put in these. And then you also get a little packet with some extra of the ink refills. And actually, let me show you. This is super, super easy to switch these out. So if you just twist the bottom, and sometimes you need a rubber band. Mr. Daisy, you want to take that one? Or Mr. Daisy. Because <laughs> my hands are. But if you take a rubber band around the bottom, thank you, dear. If you take a rubber band around the bottom, you can, um, if your hands are kind of slick like mine are, and you can grip it and you can do it off that way. Then otherwise you just put it in there. You screw that in all the way and then that is it. And then you can slide it back on. And then that's how you can refill it. So they're really easy to refill. But because of the fact that it's gel ink and it has the crystals here, our little ink cartridges are not very big. So you'll go through quite a bit. So what we do is we then include a couple of the refills. So you get two of those. You get the pen test sheet and the stamping ink test, which is really, really nice because you can use that to test your pens if you want to try and match ink color or you want to um, match your stamping ink color, you can do that on that as well. And then our fun little notepad says things to do I'd rather not do that are super important and that I could do if I have time. So you get those. And then instead of a pouch, we did something a little different this month. We have this fun little pen case. Now we've done pen cases in the past, 
but um, this time I made it a little bit bigger. So you can fit up to four or five, depending on how wide your, um, your pens are or your highlighters, you can fit up to four or five of them in here. So I had them make it just a little bit bigger. So you can see where you can put those in there. So you can fit all of your pens and your highlights and highlighters in there. So instead of a, um, a pencil pouch or a pen pouch, we did this just to kind of shake things up. The other reason being um, that the, I felt that the pen, the pencil pouch from September uh, worked really, really well with this collection. So you could reuse that one as well. So I thought that it would be fun to do something a little different. And then you could grab some stuff from your stash as well. And this has those fun ginkgo leaves on it. So you get the little, the little pen case. And then our stickers. I'll show you these. And you get three sheets of stickers. Get that open. There's three of them in here. So you get this sheet that has the ring reinforcers. It has a tab, kind of dates. These right here work with the tabs. So they are meant to fit in the tabs. So that's what those little stickers are. You've got your fun little icons, your dates and your days of the week. And then we have the alphabet there, some dates and then some of the small boxes. And then just a fun sheet of deco stickers as well. Some flowers, the cute little uh, birds and adorable little snails. A couple of the little paper airplanes. So you get those. We'll get to those in a minute. And then you get three sheets of the patterned paper. So you get that beautiful rainbow. And then this fun dot. And this makes me think of um, like New Year's Eve, like all the little confetti that you throw in the air. So there's that one. And then our fun little paper airplanes. And this, the pretty leaf pattern, and that's actually one of the stamps we have in the pink. And then these fun little gecko leaves with the little snails on them. And then a fun kind of grid pattern, and there's a little bit of color in um, where the grids meet. That. And then I'm going to show you the die cuts in it. And there are some fun ones in here. Now remember, you all of our die cuts are also I'm lay these down because there's a bunch of them. All of our die cuts are also actually stickers. So we always have new people coming in, and I always want to mention that because some people don't know that that there's a backing on there that you can peel off. So though they are also stickers. Yes, they are die cuts, but they're also stickers. So super, super easy to use. So there are six of these. So you get six of the tabs. And then I'm gonna go through these real quick. There's a bunch of them, so I'll lay them on the rainbow paper. I think they'll show up. So there's a little dandelion seeds. Um, our little grumpy snail. And then you've got some fun leaves. How are we doing, Mr. Daisy? We're doing fine. Another snail and a cute little bird. That one's actually a peacock. We have some of the florals. And I love the mix. So this collection uh, was fashioned after, or I shouldn't say fashioned after, it was inspired by. It was inspired by our very popular September kit. Um, so it has that same feel. It has different artwork. Um, there's a few little things that are real similar as far as some of the leaves and that um, I believe this is one of them that we had in September, but with a brighter colors. So the color palette on this is much brighter, which is kind of nice this time of year when it's starting to get dreary. And so when January rolls around and it's all dreary, it's nice to have these bright, happy colors, especially for New Year. So we kind of took inspiration from our Doodles and Dashes kit that everyone loved so much and just tweaked it up a little bit. And you can see here's our angry little bird. He's shouting. And then our little bird with the coffee cup. 
some more of the ginkgo leaves and our little snail he's got glasses and then some more of the florals here as well and then the fun little paper airplane and another little leaf so those are all of the die cuts so all of this you get in the main planner and again you can get the main planner with or without an insert so if you ordered it without an insert this is what you would get if you ordered it with an insert you would get it you would get these items along with one of the following inserts and we have a bunch of them so i'm going to kind of go through these we've had a lot of new people join and they've had questions about the inserts so you can see how many we have we have a ton of them so i'm going to go through them a minute and share them with you so you have all of these options as far as an insert to choose on their own you can purchase just an insert or you can do an insert with the main planner that i just showed you so if you are a ring bound person you can get this set which is our ring bound sets in a personal, a B6, or an A5 size. The personal and B6, you can get six hole punched or zero punched. So you can get them unpunched or with six holes. The A5 size, you can get six hole punch, seven hole punch, or unpunched. So I'm going to go through the A5. The other two are very similar on the inside. They're just scaled down a little bit. Um, to meet the size, but they're pretty much the same as far as what's in them. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you. So there is the tab. This is the world only exists in your eyes. You can make it as big or as small as you want to. And then you have the fun January page with the airplanes and then a beautiful bright striped page. And then you have enough of those for the whole month. I love the little birdie on here that's flying on the side. And then you have your weekly spread. So this is your week on one page or week on two pages, Monday through Sunday. And then that's the back side of those. And then you have enough again for the whole month go through those and then you have a notes page and then let me see make sure you can see the whole calendar on there so you have the whole calendar page and the thing I love about our inserts is you don't have to um, you know myself and a number of the people on the design team we show you how to really decorate your planner but one of the things I love and, and part of the reason that I started doing this is so that you had pretty pages that you didn't have to decorate. If you don't want to, they're already beautiful. You can just use them as is. You don't have to feel like you have to add a lot to them. They're already pretty. You can just use them as is and enjoy them. So there we have our month, our plan forward months. Um, there's a, a whole year's worth and then the daily and the dailies are meant to be used as a two-page spread So you have your daily to do here and then you have more of an open space here for notes um, Some people use it for a gratitude journal or just journaling I use it to jot down things usually when I'm in a meeting or on the phone And then this is where I schedule things out and there are small areas here for you to add headers to each of these sections so that you can totally make this or you can customize this to however you use your daily pages. And then you have enough for the whole month. So that is the A5. So that is the A5 size. And again, basically the same design, but in a little smaller. This is the B6. And then this is the personal. Okay. Those are the ring mount sizes. Our classic vertical insert is something that we've been doing for a little while now. These work in um, a disc system or in a spiral bound if you punch them. Whoop. And they can be for like a happy planner or an Erin Condren or our daisy planner. I like to use them in our daisy planner. And it has a dashboard. 
and then isn't that pretty and then it has a calendar move that over so you can see the whole thing and then it has the vertical planning so you can do vertical planning on these and what's nice is is I know that if you have a happy planner or you have an Erin Conran or our Daisy planner yes there's already um, these pages in there but it's nice if you want to take a break or you want to add these in instead because they have um, the pretty designs on them and they have the theme for that month and you want to use that you can so you can add those in and you have a whole month's worth for your vertical planning and then we also have um, a fun set of these which they are perforated so if you look they're perforated and what I like about them is that it has the pretty stripe it has a area for a to-do list and it has that on the back as well so you can punch these to put in your planner you can fold out however you want but then you can tear out your list if you want to tear that out and use it um, after you make a grocery list or whatnot you can tear that out which makes it nice and easy to use so that is the classic vertical inserts and that's another option and then we're going to go to all of the Dory booklets so I'm not going to go through every one of these I will tell you the different sizes and styles and then we'll just page through a couple of them so we have an A5 which is the same size as our A5 uh, ring bound we have a standard and we have a simple dory which is the same size as the standard but these are a little different I'll show you the difference in a minute we have a B6 and again the B6 is the same size as the ring size personal an A6 and our mini so you have your choice of any one of these and along with the other ones that I've shown you as an insert size so there's lots and lots of choices depending on how you memory keep art journal bullet journal you can do whatever you need um, just there's so many there's so much variety and so many different sizes to choose from so I wanted to this is another one that people can get confused on so I want to break this down a little bit so our standard dory is this one let me show you this one and this has the calendar on the front and then it has the breakdown as you go through that people will use for their planning to plan out their week you can see the little triangle here so you can do monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and then saturday and sunday and you can do that i'll show you through so there's enough here to plan for the whole month there's the grid pages these beautiful bright colors and then we have a few pages that are open so if you want to do a little bullet journaling in there a little art journaling you have a big so there's a nice variety in each booklet this has a dot grid toward the back and again they're broke down into the sections Embrace your own pace. So super fun. I just love the artwork. And then there's the back page. So that is the standard dory. So you can see how that's broke down into sections. The simple dory, this is the same booklet that comes in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. So this is meant to be used a little bit more for art journaling or memory keeping so you can see where it has the cover there and then you go through and it's much more simple and it usually has a pattern page and a grid there's a few pages that are completely open so you can see the difference between this booklet and the one that I just showed you how the one is broke down and structured a little bit more for a specifically uh, daily planning and this is a little bit more toward bullet journaling art journaling or memory keeping or memory planning okay so this is the simple dory and then just to show you a little bit of the difference in size this is our mini the mini does not have the calendar all of the other ones uh, do have a calendar on the front page 
like this standard dory that I showed you. But the mini being so small just has this little stripe on the front, but then you can see it's the same artwork, it's just scaled down a little smaller. Oh, this little guy right here, this new year, new me for approximately two weeks. Nicole, my shop manager, says that's her, she says that's her spirit animal. All right. <laughs> and then keep pushing forward, you got this. And then again, it's the same artwork throughout. So those are all of the sizes of inserts that you can select, again, either individually or to go with the main planner. So lots and lots of choices. I hope that that kind of gives you an idea and clears things up a little bit as far as all of the sizes that we offer. So that is the insert, that is the main planner. I'm gonna set that off to the side and then we're gonna go to the planner add-on. Actually, I need to take a sip of my wonderful cocktail that Mr. Daisy made me. And I'm going to share with you the planner add on. All right, so we have something fun this month in the planner add on. We have a stamp set and grabbed. So if you've not watched the stamping video yet, I encourage you to do that because I go through and I show some ways on how to use the stamps. What are you doing, baby? I show some fun ways on how to use the stamps and um, So you can, this one here is for layering, and then this one, um, so this one right here, hold on a second, the camera is, it, the thing is tilting. It's sagging. Yeah, it's sagging, it's getting, you don't, you all don't need to see like my weight that I have my. It's the wrong way, it's all right. No. It should, it should tweak down. Okay. There we go. There we go, got it. It's getting heavy, so it's it's tired. <laughs> so anyway, so we have the little snails We're all on. Tired. We're all tired. It has been a long day. So you can layer the little washi strips here, and then you can see the cute little um, the cute little birds, and then the little snails, and then that nope, not today is my favorite. I think that one is so cute. So, but if you've not watched my stamping video, make sure you do because I show how to use this stamp set as well as. Um, all of the a la carte stamps and the two stamp sets that are in the Modern Memory Keeping and the Traveler's Notebook. So you get that stamp set. You get this great little dotted, and it's thin. The thin little dotted washi tape. Isn't that cute? So you could totally use that on a page and use it for a checklist um, or just actually just decorative of course but it's fun to use as a little checklist too so you get the fun little dots you get that washi tape and you get this great big notepad and this is so cool so it has the today's schedule morning evening the notes section and then your little to-do list so you and it's larger honey can you grab me the the notepad from that one just so I can show them the difference in size. So the notepad, yeah, that's it. Thank you, love. The notepad from the main planner kit, so you can get an idea on the difference in size. You can see the size difference between that one and that one. So it is much bigger. And then you get a great sheet of rub-ons. We get so many requests for our rub-ons. And a lot of times uh, we only have them in the memory keeping kits, but I wanted to make sure we had the one for the planner people as well because there are so many fun uh, ways to use these in your planner. If you have um, a bound planner, like a Hobonichi, and you don't want to add a lot of bulk, the rub-ons are the way to go. 
So these are really fun. And then you get this great little packet of goodies. And this has, let me show the note cards first. So you get this pretty note card. It says, Sea Wishes, Not Weeds. And then you can be soft and successful, a traditionalist and a rebel, a loner and a fighter, vulnerable and invincible. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. So I close my eyes to old ends and open my heart to new beginnings, which is perfect uh, for our new year, for January. And then you get this card, which has the fun little swatches, which is nice. If you ever need to match the colors of the kit, you can use this. This is a great way to use that little swatch card. And then the stickers. So you have this fun set of to-do lists, cleanup, uh, New Year's Day, winter or water plants, um, no spend day, and then our little smile so for shipping. We got our little reveal day sticker. So you have those. And then a fun set of little um, decorative stickers with the cute little birds and the snails. And I love this little guy with the glasses. He is so cute. And then our days of the week with the little uh, to-do flags. There's enough on there for the month. And then the alpha, the little icons, and then um, some more dates. So you get those as well. So you get all of that in the planner add-on. And then the set of die cuts. So I'll show you these. And then I'll probably just kind of lay them down so you can see them all. We get the fun little weekend banner, which we always have every month. The airplane. So it's just all of the cute little artwork. There's some great florals in here as well. And again, remember, these are stickers. And I can't wait to do my setup. I'm going to have so much fun doing my setup. I think I'm going to pull my uh, other stamp set, that big floral stamp set from uh, September would totally work with this kit as well. So you get some more. I love the little pops of black and white in here. So you get the cute little snails, this little guy with the funky little grin little birds and then the push through and make it happen good advice for the new year we have our angry little bird if you can see him he's not happy <laughs> and more of the little flying birds and some more of the florals so you get that whole set of die cuts as well so you get all of that in the planner add-on. And the planner add-on is nice. Obviously, everything coordinates together, which is what we love. But the nice thing about the planner add-on is that if you have a different insert system that you're using, the planner add-on um, will work with anything because there's no insert in it. There's, no, um, there's nothing specific as far as how you would use it in our setup so you can use it really with anything so the planner add-on is a great way to go with just about any system you have and continuing on with planners we're going to go to the classified planner now this the classified planner is just that it's classified so some people like to wait until they get this it's a secret you can't tell anybody what's in it um, but we are going to show you what's in it. So if you don't want to see, then you need to like look away for a few minutes. Spoiler um, alert. A spoiler alert. Or if you are watching this uh, from the recording, uh, jump ahead and so on. Skip this part. But we are going to open this up and show you what's in here. And I will say there's some fun stuff in here. Oh, and I should mention... I should mention we, um, we got done with shipping and... Uh, we went through inventory and we did restock a few things. So there are a few things back in stock. So make sure if you thought you had missed out on something that you go back and check. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this overlay. We did something a little different with the overlay. So normally the overlay is completely see-through. 
But if you notice, the ginkgo leaves are not. I'm going to set it on the craft paper here so you can see it. The ginkgo leaves we put white behind so that they are not see-through. Isn't that pretty? So it's just a little something different that we did that I'm pretty excited about. So we did that, and then I have, I'm going to bring that back to you. We have a lovely, just simple grid uh, printing on the vellum. We want attention. Our puppies are being very good. And I shouldn't say that out loud because, well, they're all <laughs> laying on the chair together. Okay. That is a really good beverage, honey. Not bad. And the pink washi tape, and this has a little bit of a speckle to it. I'll sh see if I can show that to you so you can see it in the camera. So there's a little bit of a speckle where it has a little bit of a lighter and darker in the pink. Isn't that pretty? And in the camera with the lighting here, it, it looks, it's actually a little bit more fuchsia than what it's showing on the camera there. Um, it looks a little bit more pinky pinky on the camera where it's a little bit more of a, of a fuchsia tone. And then our little clip chopper, and he says, keep on keeping on, and that's a little snail. And it's hollow back, and what that goes with is our little magnetic clip topper. So that just interchanges. I should have grabbed one. I didn't. Sorry. But it, it goes on there as well. The magnetic clip toppers that you spent countless hours countless sanding. hours going over sanding the edges <laughs> and then you get this adorable clip with the beads Let's see if i can get the beads on there so you can see them all so there's all the beads and then the cute little paper airplane charm so you get that in this um, fun little pocket and this has an adhesive on the back, so you can put that in your planner. It is big enough, it will hold some of the smaller, if you wanna put a few of your um, notepad sheets in there, um, if you wanna put a few of your die cuts in there. Uh, it's just kind of a fun little pocket to use to store some extra things in your planner, or um, even if you're doing like an art journal type page or a gratitude journal or bullet journal and you wanna um, tuck a few things in there, that's just a fun little thing to have. Oh, and our Simon card. I don't call them New Year's resolutions. I prefer the term casual promises to myself that I'm under no obligation to fulfill. And you can see his stack of those that um, he does not adhere to, which is pretty much all of us. And you can even tuck that little card in there as well. And then we have some more fun stickers. We have the days of the week. And the one, there's the ones with the little snails. And then some with the stacked day side by side, and then our cute little birdie. And then just some fun decorative uh, florals, and then some more fun uh, decorative with the great little artwork of the snails and the birds. And this little guy says, got my positive pants on today. Be savage, not average. Today I feel majestic, that's cute. And then these are so fun. Now this is a request we had We've done these kind of kind of snarky, kind of fun uh, quote cards, and previously we've had them just in the um, memory keeping kits. So this time we added them to um, I added them to the classified planner as well, so that our planner people you could get some and you could tuck them in uh, your planner if you wanted, because there's just some fun, great little quotes. This is the same quote that little Simon was saying. And then I need to teach my facial facial expressions how to use their inside voice. So there's some just really, really fun ones in here. I won't read them all off to you. But um, website, we use cookies to improve our performance. Me, same. Yes, I love that one. So these are just, I like, I always use them to decorate my planner. I enjoy them. Um, this one's funny. I don't understand why people have to get ready for bed. I'm always ready for bed. <laughs> so these are cute. And this little guy here, that's an up to date for today. I'm staying home today. I have mood poisoning. And then I need all the help I can get to get through this day. 
we want we wanted to be adults so bad now look at us calories i think you mean delicious points and then alexa skip to spring so those are fun and again they are stickers so you can peel the backing off and you can use them like that so you get all of this in the classified planner so that all comes in here and again we do have i think we added a few of these back in the store as well so i'm going to show you next Actually, let me show you this, the dashboards and the stickers. We'll stay with the whole planner theme. I told you we have a lot to cover. So our dashboards, now these come, you get both sizes. You get the personal size and the A5 size. You can use these as dashboards. You can um, cut them up. You can use them as bookmarks. You can use, um, I use both sets in my A5 because I will use these as subdividers. So I'll go through and show you these. Some people actually just frame them and use them as art in their craft room, which is another fun way to use them. So we have January, we have Alexa, fill in my planner, isn't that cute? And then this one with the little boss lady and the florals. And you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending, love that. Celebrate every tiny victory and goals I'm going to crush. And then this would be a good kind of for, to fill out for your new year and keep that tucked in your planner and cross them off as you go. Because we're going to be positive and say that you're going to um, make some of them happen. And then you get the same ones just in the personal size. So I'll just kind of lay those down so you can get an idea of how they look a little smaller. So again, these are the dashboards, and you get both of these sizes in that. And we do have a few of those that we put in stock as well. And then lots and lots and lots of stickers. We have tons and tons and tons of stickers. And I actually, I'm going to go grab, because I have notes on the sizes of the boxes of these. So I'm going to let Mr. Daisy riff for a minute. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. How that I'm... is such a bad that idea. That is such a bad idea. Well, I don't get those. <laughs> All right. Well, apparently I am supposed to just kind of step in here and, and do something of some kind of productiveness. So if you're enjoying this, um, please comment below. Um, if you like what you see or you see something that somebody, one of your friends or one of the other individuals that are in your life would like or would enjoy, definitely please feel free to, you know, tag them or um, text them and let them know that we're doing these. We do this. Um, Simply as, as, as a way for us to be able to show you what word it is that we're doing and to be able to show you the extent in which we're doing it. Um, we're trying to please everyone. Obviously, you know the old phrase, you can't please everyone all the time, but we are doing our best to try to do that. So if you appreciate what we're doing and you're enjoying what we're doing, please comment, um, forward it on to friends and, you know, We'll try to try to make this a little bit more exciting for everyone. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Uh, <laughs> so right. that I didn't mess it up that No, bad, you so. did. You did good, honey. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I have my notes. Let me take another drink because all it's that get, talking. It's getting thirsty out. Yeah, all that talking. Okay, so the reason I grabbed these is because some of these have boxes and I wanted you to know kind of what sizes those go to, and I did have them measured, and I wanted to do that. So, uh, the Bible journaling sticker kit. So if you do any Bible journaling, uh, faith journaling, anything like that, we have these great set of stickers that work with that. So you get some deco, you get some words. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick because we have so many sticker kits. I just want to give you kind of a quick little um, rundown, and then there's always there's a sheet of the um, the vellum as well. 
So I wanted to give you a quick little look at those. That is the Bible journaling sticker set. Now these two are for, they will fit in our Daisy Weeks booklet or they will fit in a Hobonichi Weeks. And you have the calendar set and this works for the calendar page. And then it also has the breakdown um, with the dates on there as well. So that's for the calendar page. Same size, but you get a little bit more extensive stickers in these. So again, you have that vellum sheet at the days of the week. And then these, which can work together. And if you're familiar with how a hobo works, you'll understand how that goes across. The little boxes and then some deco on there. And that is the Daisy Week sticker kit. This is the Calendar Weeks sticker kit. So those are separate. And then let's do our Daisy add-on sticker kit. Now this does not have any boxes in it. And there are only three sheets in this one. But these will work with any, any planner system you have at all. There's nothing size specific. Um, to this at all. So these will work with any sort of system that you're doing. I take that back. There's four sheets. So there's your deco. There's some words. There's an alpha in there. And then again, some more of the fun uh, vellum sayings, which are always some of my favorite. And by vellum, what I mean is it's basically um, see-through. So if I can pop one of these up. And show you that it's kind of see-through see if you can see that so when you lay it down you will see the background so again that is the daisy add-on sticker kit that goes with any sort of planner setup that you're doing so now the planner sticker kit these are one and a half inches wide by one and seven eighths inches tall and that is the size of these boxes so depending on what system you use, um, that is the size of the boxes. So you get the, the great little vellum dots. You get a couple of sheets of the boxes. Some are decorative, some have the to-do list. And then you have some of the half boxes and the hydrate, the to-dos, a few of the icons, and some decorative. And then the vellum sheet, these are vellum strips, so it's almost like getting little strips of washi tape. And then you get these fun little watercolor swooshes. What I like to do is actually write out something and put these over top as opposed to trying to write on top of, because sometimes depending on the ink you use, it can smear. So I will, I will write first and then um, lay that over top. So that is the planner sticker kit. I'm going through these kind of quickly just because I want to get through all of them and we don't want to make this video super long. <laughs> Mr. Daisy's in charge of keeping the dogs quiet and they're so far, they're doing really well. All right, this is the memory keeping sticker kit. And again, as the name implies, this is a little bit more toward memory planning or memory keeping type of setup. These boxes are one and seven eighths inches wide by three inches tall. And these will fit in the Daisy Planner, by the way. So in the Daisy Planner on, on the planning um, section, or the, the memory keeping section, these will fit. So you have your vellum sayings, you have some of your boxes, you have some of the fun little word stickers and um, the dates, just some decorative, a great alpha, and then some more of the decorative boxes. And then some of the little vellum sayings. And what I like to do is these right here, I like to uh, combine with larger alphas to create titles. So you can kind of combine those with other alphas to create titles or put them in uh, some of the label stickers. So those are the, that is the memory keeping sticker kit. 
And then lastly, we have the classic planner sticker kit. The classic is one and a half inches wide by two and a half inches tall. So that tells you the box size of those. So you have some of the boxes, you have the decorative boxes, and then you have the tracker boxes. You have some of the words, some of the cute little decorative bits, an alpha, some of the strips, these fun little weekend, and then some of the um, checklist flags, and some more of the vellum uh, little strips, and then the vellum sayings. So that is the classic planner sticker kit. So those are all of the sticker kits. So there's a lot of variety there as well. I know it can be overwhelming, the amount of options that we have, but it really does help you be able to pick and choose whatever works best for you. So depending on what system you use, or you can be like me and you just get all of them because you like bits and pieces from all of them. So those are the sticker kits. All right, we are gonna switch gears and we are gonna move on to our memory keeping side. Now, so that was all the planner stuff. Honey, are you excited? We're going to memory keeping now. There we go. All right, so- Make it magic happen. Make it magic happen. All right, so we are moving on to, you know what though? You just are- You are smashing through it though. Okay, but memory keeping. It is magic because you're preserving memory. Did you see what I did there? I, I saw did you what you did, what I did there. there. Kind of switch that around a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So, because it is magic. It is magic. It's it is magic. <laughs> it is magic for your kids twenty years from now when they go really. Yep. Exactly. Wow, you did that. Exactly. I did, or more like I did that, and you recorded it, and I'm so embarrassed. That that's kind of more what it is. So we are going to start with the modern memory keeping kit. Now the modern, and there is, look at that, there's so much in here. The modern memory keeping kit can be used for any kind of memory keeping, whether you do pocket, because there's pocket cards in here, whether you do 12 by 12, you create mini albums, whatever you do as far as memory keeping, um, art journaling even. Um, I use a lot of this stuff in my planner. I just cross it all over, which is the beauty of the collection that we have. When we have all of this, it all works together, which is part of why I love it as well. Um, but again, mem modern memory keeping, you can do anything. So I, I created, I'm, I'll go through and show you the contents, but then, and then I'll explain a little bit how I used them. I did a couple of 12 by 12 layouts. So I will show you that in a minute. And I'm going to go through these. And I had fun. Speaking of Tiki, I did a layout about taking Mr. Daisy out for his birthday to his favorite Tiki place. Which it was phenomenal. It was awesome. Okay, so we're going to start with the stamp set. And again, I'm going to hearken back to encouraging you to go and watch my stamping video because it shows you some great tips on how to use these stamps and how to layer them. So you get this stamp set right here, which has a lot of fun little things. And then you get a set of this blue and black string. I'll show you what that's for in a moment. I'll go through the die cuts. You get the amazing glitter dots, which are my favorite. Now, oh, I need to mention this. I didn't, I, no one know. See, this is why we have to do unboxing. I apologize. We were in Florida. We were not able to do the unboxing. Things got so insane before we left. Um, but, this is why we do the unboxing, so I can share this stuff with you because this is important. Glitter dots, I ordered extra because a lot of people, you want more than one, which I totally get, I do too. And some of our planner people want glitter dots as well. I ordered extras and they will be in the store. If they aren't already, 
Nicole will get them in the store Monday or Tuesday. If they're not already there, I don't know if she added them yet or not. But anyway, so there will be extra glitter dots. So you can have as many as you want. And I think that may be something we might start doing if I get a lot of interest. So anyway, beautiful glitter dots. And then I'm going to go through the cards. So you get all of these cards. You get some 4 by 6 the Fun Rainbow, the 2022, the Airplanes, and then the calendar. We changed this. If you, uh, That's the, the nice thing about our January kit, too. If we're going to kind of change things up, we do it with our January kit. So we had a different monthly setup on our 4x6 cards, and we went with this one for this for this year now, and I like that a lot. So you get that fun little calendar, a little January documented, and then hello January. And then you get all of the, these three by four cards. So I'm just gonna run through these real quick. Now this one is the same on both sides, except one has a Saturday start and one has a Monday start. It's got the cute little snail on there. I will just pop through these quick so you can see them all because there's a bunch of them. There's our cute little bird. And lots of the pretty um, patterns as well. And I like to tuck a bunch of these in my planner and use them in my planner. You could, if you're choosing, um, if you're choosing your word for uh, the year, you could use one of the cards to write write that out and then keep it tucked in your planner every month. I haven't picked out my word yet. I'll have to do that. Resort. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good one, wouldn't it? Well, you can resort to drastic measures, or you can just go to a resort. <laughs> go to a resort. That's our favorite thing to do, isn't it, Mr. Daisy? <laughs> we do love that. Yeah, that one's cute. The yeah and the nope. Resolutions, and then the everything is figure outable with plenty of, and then you fill in the blank. So you get all of those cards. There are four double-sided four by six and 24 double-sided three by four cards. Okay. And then some of these beautiful embossed puffy stickers. So if you look at those, you can see the beautiful embossing on those. Nice and colorful. And then we'll flip through the die cuts real quick. I'm telling you, there is so much in this kit. The fun little label and some. And remember, again, these are stickers. They almost all are stickers. Once in a while, we have some that are not, and I try to specify if they're not. But um, these are usually they all are. So these fun ginkgo leaves, a little airplane, another little airplane. I just want to go back to bed. That's me most mornings. Would color me happy. Winter days are here. And then another little, and life looks like, and then a little die cut. A half circle. So those are die cuts. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about these. So you get the, the string or the twine, and then you get these stickers. And you may wonder, like, okay, what are these? Are they, I don't get it. What are they supposed to be? What is the string for? All right, there is a specific thing that those are for, and that is to make your own bunting. So if you look on this layout, you run the string through and you fold these over top of the string, they're stickers, and you can create your own bunting. How cute is that? 
So I did that, I ran that through, and then I added a little bit of foam adhesive on the back just to raise them up, and you get this fun little bunting effect. Um, so this is a 12 by 12 layout. Remember I said modern memory keeping is anything you want it to be. So I did this layout in a 12 by 12 format um, using some of the cards, using some of the pattern paper, the alphas, and of course that fun uh, bunting technique, and then uh, some of the puffy stickers as well, a few little glitter dots. So uh, that is one of the things that you can do with the contents of this kit but you can make this great bunting. I think that's it's a fun embellishment to make and it adds a lot of great dimension as well. Those are our puppies. <laughs> so that's what you do with those two items. And then there are some um, black puffy stickers. I love, love, love this font. And the black goes perfect with this. And more rub-ons. We love the rub-ons. And these robots are different than what is in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and they are different than what is in the planner uh, add-on. So they're completely different. And then you get six, whoops, wait a minute. You get six sheets of pattern paper. You get two sets of three. And the reason for that is because they're double-sided, and then that way you don't have to choose um, which pattern you cut up and which one you lose because we give you two of each. So you have this fun, that one, the airplanes, and then this fun uh, lime green. I love that one. So those are your pattern papers. So again, you can see they're double sided. And then you get a set of instruction sheets from me that show you how to make the two layouts. I just showed you this one, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make that. So even if you don't necessarily want to make the same identical layout, I encourage you to read through it, just because it will give you some ideas on how to use some of the product that you can just kind of use this as inspiration uh, to create your own layouts and just kind of give you a good jumping off point as well. So I'm going to show you that other layout because I used some rub-ons on here. I did a little stamping. So this is our little Lilu, and she was a moment ago actually perched up on the pillow just like that. So I used the stamp on here, and if you look, I, can, I did a little bit of the rub-ons there. I added a little sewing. There's a little bit of um, the rub-ons here as well. I just did the whole thing. There's one of the cards and then some strips of the pattern paper. So that is one of the other layouts. So this is all part of the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. As I said, there is a ton in here. And I think we had a couple of these as well that we were able to put in back in the store that we had left over. So that is moving my mind. All right, now we're gonna go to we're down to two kits, honey. Two. Last but almost not. <laughs> this is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. This one comes with a simple dory. If you remember, I went through one of the simple dories as an option of an insert with the main planner kit. But it also comes as part of the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. The difference between this and the modern memory keeping kit is that this is geared toward memory keeping in this notebook. So in this size of notebook, <laughs> excuse me, in this size of notebook is what the product is geared toward. Now, obviously you can interchange it, you can use some of the other product, but that's, that's what this kit is geared toward, is creating and filling this simple dory. Now, there's a couple things you can do with the simple dory. We wrap the front and back page in a continuous pattern. So if you don't like the craft cover, you can carefully take that off and have the pattern be your cover. You can put the, the name of your, basically a mini album or your booklet here or the month or the year, or whatever the theme that you want to on the little label there. Or you can decorate this cover. The other thing you can do, which is something I do a lot of, just because I make mine a little bulky, 
I will take the staples out, I will cut it down the middle, and I will punch holes in it and actually turn it into a little mini album. So that's another option that you have in how to use it. So I'm gonna flip through this again real quick so you can see. And the reason it's a simple dory is we make it so that it is very simple and very quick for you to be able to record your memories in it. We've got a pattern paper side. There's a few um, pages that are totally blank. So this side you could add a photo, you could add just a title, um, and then some journaling, and you're really done. You don't have to decorate it a whole lot if you don't want to, but of course you can. However a creative you want to get. We have a couple that have titles, so it makes it even more, um, you can do a page even more, more quickly. The more you celebrate your life, the more there is in life to celebrate. show you something fun. I'll show you my examples that I did as well. I did something really fun with that page. And then the back. So that is the Simple Dory. And let me show you the washi tape a minute. I have one open. And it's this lovely, simple, which I, which I love, grid. And it's just, to me, it's it's simple, but it's so versatile. This is gonna go with everything. If you wanted to take a permanent marker, you could fill in a few of those little grids or those little squares in the grid and make it decorative if you wanted to. But I love just the simplicity of it. It will go with everything. So you get a roll of the washi tape. And then, let me, I'm gonna skip that because I'm gonna come back to that. That and you get some more of the glitter dots. I won't take those out of the package because I showed those to you earlier. And you get two sets of die cuts you get a set of the snarky ones, I call them snarky, they're not real snarky, they're cute. And then you get these, Let's scooch that up, and we'll go through these real quick. And again, you have some of the florals airplanes there's some cute little titles on there as well let's talk about this photo a couple of labels you can always use those and I think I do every single month because yeah, you came looking for some and I didn't have many <laughs> the other day. oh yeah that's right they weren't big enough either for what you wanted a little arrow new year fresh starts I think they were big enough if somebody had smaller handwriting. Yes. Yeah, but you have really, really nice handwriting. You have better handwriting than I do. It's a, it's, it's a bit bulky. But yeah, but it's, it's better it's than... It's legible. <laughs> you say mine's not... I'm just I'm <laughs> making commentary it's that mine true. is legible. And that is why, that is why people don't see my planner in process because it's a hor my handwriting, I'm sorry, it's horrible. It should be better. I should take the time to do better. I just am always hurrying. And then I sh we, sh we saw these, but I'll just, I'll lay them out real quick for you again as well. So you get those same, the same little cute little snarky ones. I it's not necessarily yeah, snarky, they're, really they're playful. The pl oh, that's good. They're like playful. It playful. They're playful. Snarky has Snark a snarky mildly has a, yeah, negative Yeah, no, they're playful. They are. They they're are. a bit more playful. I don't need to. And for your sarcastic friends, they will really enjoy them. Yes. So, all right, we'll say playful. Right. Playful's playful is good. Playful works. I don't need to write that down. I'll remember and other lies I tell myself. Introverts unite separately in our own homes. That would be Zachy's. <laughs> Calories, I think you mean delicious points, and I'm not buying a 2022 planner until I see the trailer. So that's cute to get those as well. You get this fun stamp set with the grid. I've got to show you some fun ideas for that. Again, go to my stamping video. I keep bringing that up, but it's true because I have all kinds of ideas. I have 
some fun ways to layer and use that grid stamp. The little paper airplanes. Okay, and then these. So just like in the modern memory keeping kit, we had three by four and four by six cards for you to use. If you do pocket memory keeping, we have traveler's notebook cards. So these, if you have, um, like for instance, if you wanted to do this page, you could take, they are sized to fit in your traveler's notebook. You could do that and then you could add a photograph and a little bit of journaling and you'd be done. You already have your title on the other side and it fits right in there. That's what those are. They are traveler's notebook cards. So you have that one. These are single sided, obviously, because you're going to glue them down. My favorite winter activity is going back inside where it's warm. That is Mr. Daisy's favorite winter activity. And then a pretty little watercolor one as well. It would be fun. I would, I would actually add a real small, tiny little um, word or title in here. Just, I think that would be real pretty in kind of a juxtaposition against the large florals. I think that would be really pretty. And then we have Puffy Elf. I'm gonna take this out just so you can see it a little better. It's a real pretty kind of bright, I don't know that I necessarily call that lime green, but it's a real bright green. I would say acid green. Yeah, yeah. 1986 call, <laughs> happy it's coming back. Yes. And then rub -ons. And again, a whole different set. I love this one in particular and the scribble. So you get those and then you get the pattern paper. So you get six sheets of that. Happy New Year desires, year, days, goals. So that's kind of a fun paper as well. Very colorful, which again is so perfect for this time of year. Now, I'm gonna talk about these two things. So you get a little stencil and then you get some black string. Now, the black string, what I would do if you're going to use it with the stencil, which is kind of the idea, just like you would with embroidery thread, I would take some off and I would take out one or two strings. So I wouldn't use it as the thickness that it's at. I would take out, because you, um, you can unwind this and you can pull out one or two strings. So you can just do that just like you would with embroidery thread. If you've ever worked with embroidery thread, you can take out one or two strings um, from that and then it will be a little bit thinner and a little bit easier to use on uh, the paper. So what this is, is this is a stencil for creating stitching. So it's a stitching stencil. So if you want to stitch these fun little swirls or one of the dandelions, what you would do is you would take this, so like let's say I wanted to use the, um, the little swirl here. I would take that, I would take a pencil and I would tick those off I would make those marks okay so then I would use that then what you do is you you would take a piercer or a needle and you would punch through you want to put some some sort of piece of foam or a piercing pad beneath your paper and you would punch through those marks then you have your stitching so then you would just go through and with a needle and the thread you would go through and you would stitch that pattern and you would end up with a great texture using the little stitching stencil. Or it's a great stencil for a tattoo because that's how it was done back before there was actual stencils. Really? Yes. They use a punch wheel to go over their design and then they would use a, a, a pad and they would tamp around it so they had the little dots and yeah. that's what they used as a stencil in order to be able to follow the design. Well, if some of you don't know, Mr. Daisy, ta Mr. Daisy is a tattoo artist. <laughs> so, how many years now, honey? 26. 26 years. So, well, that's an interesting little factoid, honey. Well, worthless, worthless trivia to best nature friends. Not worthless. That's interesting. Thank you, baby. But that's 
that is a, a stencil is how they would actually transfer a tattoo design to the skin and then they would follow those dots so it's the same idea oh neat you actually you get actually look like an artist and not know what you're doing <laughs> yes but that's a little guide to do that with so you can use that um, again with the strings to, so you have that little and i will um as uh, once we get out of December and we start to get into January and I show my January planner setup and um, some other ideas I will actually do a little tutorial on how to use that so if it still is kind of like you're still not sure I will make sure and share that with you so I'm going to show you my two layouts using the product so here's one of them and this is Jeffrey with the three puppies and I used the uh, that great grid stamp. I used some of the rub-ons, a die cut, a little bit of that. That um, you can see again. I just love the accent of that grid washi. These fun little dandelion seed rub-ons. And then what I did, if you remember this page, so it's solid. And what I did is I went through and I cut around. The end of that a little bit and then adhered a piece of pattern paper behind on the other page to give it that great that great edge that actually looks like a die cut edge so there's that page and then there's this one where I used one of um, I used one of the traveler's notebook cards and then there's some die cuts on here some rub-ons and again that great and then see and then that's my handwriting so there you go and that great uh, grid stamp as well. So you can see those are a couple of the layouts that I did using this product. And those layouts, again, there's an instruction sheet with the kit, shows you how I did that step by step. And then you also get, you also get a sketch. So you have another jumping off point and you can totally customize that. And it's geared toward um, some of the product that is in the kit so you don't forget to go through that and just even like I said even if it's not um, a layout that you want to copy you can get some fun ideas from it so that is all of these goodies are part of the traveler's notebook memory keeping kit and I should mention the stamp set that is in the traveler's notebook memory keeping kit and the stamp set that is in the modern memory keeping kit so these two stamp sets are in the stamp subscription so just fyi all right last but not least holy cow everybody we made it through because that's a lot of kits we do a lot of kits every month i'm not kidding you man all right. Again, trying to please everybody all the time. <laughs> it's true. So we're going to do another classified. Um, and the dogs are getting rambunctious too. The little one, especially. <laughs> She's still puppy. So this is another classified. This is a classified memory keeping. And again, look away. Turn it off. Come back. Go refill your cocoa if you want to. If you want this to be a surprise. Because I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to show you what is in the classified memory keeping kit. And this kit, oh, there's a fun surprise in there. This kit is very much, um, I honestly think you could use this for anything. You could use this in your planner. You could use this in your memory keeping, uh, art journaling memory planner just kind of a little bit of everything there's just some fun goodies in here and we included an entire set of little colored pencils and part of the reason i wanted to include these otb pencils <laughs> is because we have the there's a lot of um for instance okay so there's a lot of die cuts and there's a lot of images um, throughout the collection that are black and white and they would be so fun to fill in with color so now you have a little set of colored pencils that you could fill those in with as well as the stamp sets 
that we have that these are all a la carte. We still have some of these available. I ordered extras. Um, back in September, we had a, an a la carte stamp set with the florals. It sold out really, really quickly. And I know a lot of you were upset that you didn't get the chance to order that. So we ordered um, a lot extra this time. So there should be enough if you want one there in the store. But these little colored pencils would be adorable to use with these stamps. And I'll go over these stamps a little bit. Because more. that is trending adult coloring books. Is it? I, it was. I don't know if it still is. Yeah, it still is. Is there's it? Still quite a, there's still quite a movement for the adult coloring books. It's very relaxing, you know. So they say. It is. I mean, that's all I did when I was younger was color. But All right. We're going to start with You Get... Another set of these fun puffy stickers, and they're embossed. So I don't know if you saw that in the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. I do not know why she's doing that. Um, that little Lilu. So they're embossed. They have that great, great texture to them. And then you get a set of, I love these. I love using these to make bookmarks for my planner. Um, you could put them on a layout. They would be so fun to tuck behind a photograph or even to use as a title or for journaling. You could use that one for journaling. But these oversized tags, I, like I said, I like to use them for bookmarks. Happy new dreams, happy new days, happy new desires, happy new ways, happy new year, happy new you. So you have those three. And then we have... And the die cuts that are in the um, classified memory keeping are always uh, just artwork. So there's, there's no sayings or words really. It's mostly just the fun artwork. So that's what you can kind of plan on having in this um, die cut pack, which I like because it's a great, it's a great way if like, if you're like me and you like to add a lot of the little bits and pieces of artwork to something or tuck them in in your uh, memory keeping or in your planner it's a great way to do that especially on my calendar page in my daisy planner i tend to use a lot of these little guys along with um, whatever artwork is on the uh, free printables if you're a subscriber they're free you can you can pay for them if you're not a subscriber but if you're a subscriber you get them for free so some of the fun little snails as well. Lots of the airplanes, which would be fun to put in a planner with the little dashes to show movement. And then two little birds, this little guy's singing. And then a couple more little airplanes. So you get all the, remember there, are stickers. And then you get um, the three sheets of the planner paper. So if you are a memory keeper, and you love the pattern papers that are in the planner, you can get um, you can get those in the classified memory keeping. So you can get some more paper, and we all love more paper. This one especially. So that is everything that is in the classified memory keeping kit. Now before we before we say goodbye on this cold Saturday night, <laughs> I wanted to go through a couple of the stamp sets. As I mentioned, we do have these yet in the store because we ordered extras. So there's three of them. There is the oh I'm gonna uh, the whimsical weeds. I think that's what it's called if I remember right. And then there's the dandelion wishes, and then there's the bird in a cage. So those are the three different stamp sets. And again, let me grab my little sheet from my stamping video where I show some of the fun ways that I used those. And then I also show you how to use some chalk with those as well. So there are some examples that I used with those. So make sure you check out the video and you can see all the fun ways to use these stamps. I cannot wait to play with these in my planner. And then, oh, and 
if you have been waiting for the stamp set to show up or be in stock that is listed in the minimalist collection so if you go to the daisy store and you go to the minimalist collection there is a stamp set that's been um it's had coming soon on it for a while those came in and i have one here um, those came in and they will be in stock um, if they're not listed now they will be listed uh, at the beginning of next week so be watching for those they are in the minimalist section of the daisy store and they had been saying coming soon but um, we have them now finally so this is a great versatile stamp set to use uh, for your planning so lots of fun ways that you can use that you can you group the days um, days of the week there's some great listings some great little uh, to check off lists there's a little calendar in there so a lot of fun things that you can do with those so those are some stamp sets that we have in the store as well but um, that is everything that is all of the kits and i hope you've had fun we've had fun tonight haven't we sweetie yes we've had a good time showing you everything um our little Jack Frost cocktail, which is very yummy. I encourage you to try that. And we will be back next month, uh, hopefully, <laughs> uh, with uh, any, any un undue or unforeseen catastrophes. We should be around on reveal night um, to share with you the February collection. Can you believe that? February, that's insane. But yeah, so... Everyone have a merry, merry Christmas. Um, thank you all for a wonderful, wonderful year. We appreciate it. It's been a crazy year again with all the COVID and supply chain and all of that. And we just um, are very thankful and blessed for all of you to be a part of us this past year. And looking forward to next year and going into that, we're excited. So... Thank you all very, very much, and we will see you in a few weeks again.